So good news everybody, I feel super crazy after only getting like three and a half hours of sleep after my crazy Halloween Horror Nights night. If you haven't seen the video last night, go check it out, sneak preview. It opens tomorrow, but I was already there. So this was something that I originally wasn't going to mention because it's it's not a big deal at all, but um, until Jen called me from work and she's like, hey, so what's the deal with this satellite falling from the sky? Are we gonna die? And I'm like, I didn't even know that dying was an option. Pow, danger is my middle name. So, NASA's upper atmosphere research satellite is dead and it is falling from the sky because, you know, as you know, when satellites die, they don't have any more energy to keep them in orbit because here's all right, here we go. Quick science lesson. Orbit there's it's not like you throw something up around the earth and it's magic, it just spins around the earth. No, it's because of gravity. When something's orbiting another object, it's just constantly missing is missing it as it's falling towards it. So like, if I were falling at this chair, I'd be like, oh, oh no, I just missed it. But the gravity from the chair pulls me around the other side and then I'm orbiting the chair because I'm constantly falling around the chair, not actually down towards the chair. So, when a satellite dies, it, it doesn't have any more uh, propulsion, any more power to keep it up out of the atmosphere, so it starts to, to degrade, little by little, and then finally gravity is like, ha ha, you're mine, satellite, and then it's like, ah, no, the atmosphere, and it starts falling towards Earth. And thus is the case with NASA's upper atmosphere research satellite. It is dead, so it's starting to fall towards Earth. People have been freaking out. And this isn't the first time that this happened. Skylab died back in 1979. Let me check my dates. July of 1979 to be exact. And uh, that one was the size of a house. Skylab was huge. And uh, turns out Skylab fell, hit Australia. Nobody got injured, but Australia did uh, fine NASA $400 for littering. I don't always fine NASA, but when I do, it's for littering. And so it, 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 we, we come back to the upper atmosphere research satellite. It's about the size of a city bus. So uh, by the time that it makes it through the atmosphere, it'll have broken into, uh, they say approximately, I don't know how they approximate something like this, but 26 parts. Amazing. That's a quite a round number for an approximation. 26 parts, the largest of which will be 330 pounds. That's only 100 pounds more than me. Well, man, about 110 maybe, 120. I'll say 120 because I'm svelte. And amidst all this freaking out that we've been doing, we found out that this, uh, none of the pieces are going to hit the United States. More than likely, because the planet is 70% water, it's gonna land somewhere in the ocean. It's really hard to hit land when you're falling towards the earth because there's not that much of it. And now, if you are still scared of the fact that there is a satellite hurtling towards earth at terminal velocity, take this into account. Take a look at me. 215, eh, we'll say 220, we'll round up. Go ahead, call me fat, it's fine. 220 pounds, 100 pounds more added on to me, okay? I'm like this big. Imagine something the size of me, we'll even say 26 things the size of me. What do you think the chances of me hitting you at your computer desk right now are if I were to jump into the air 26 times? 1, 2, 3, 24, 25, 26! Are you still alive? Don't worry my friends, chaos will always be on your side. Except when it's not, but we don't ever really know when that is. Oh, that's say, don't worry, you're gonna be fine. Oh, and I am going to Halloween Horror Nights again tomorrow for opening day. It should be really good. I'm planning on, they told us about this peanut butter and jelly and banana fried sandwich covered with chocolate that I am jonesing to try out. I'm sure it's gonna be like $27, but I don't give a darn. I'm gonna eat that sandwich and it's gonna be tasty. So I'd better catch up on my beauty sleep. I'll see you guys tomorrow and now it's time to pay the price.